We wake up in the morning and we make choices. To brush our teeth, to shower, our outfit of the day. But when it comes to our digital lives, the decisions we make are not so strictly our own. If you're one of the 51 million Americans paying for a music streaming subscription, an algorithm might be the one dictating the tunes of your morning commute. Apple, Spotify, Amazon and Pandora are all personalizing the ways users find new music, but they're each going about it a bit differently. Jeff Bezos said that Prime subscribers hit 100 million in 2018. And just like the company recommends products to you based on what others are buying, its music service operates the same. It's called collaborative filtering. If you listen to New Rules by Dua Lipa, I keep pushing forwards, but he keeps pulling me backwards. Amazon will say customers also listen to No Tears Left to Cry by Ariana Grande. Or Delicate by Taylor Swift. Or Shape of You by Ed Sheeran. Now, Pandora's algorithm relies on content-based recommendations. In order to create a more personalized experience, the company launched the Human Genome Research Project. Questlove and Pandora founder Tim Westergren broke it down for Billboard in an exclusive interview. The Music Genome Project is a collection of musical attributes, about 450 of them. And they essentially are the kind of the primary colors of melody, harmony, rhythm, form, instrumentation, lyrics, voice. Every song is listened to by a trained musician. It's audio wine pairing yeah. with, with, with food. They pay real musicians to analyze the notes, the syncopation, the instrumentation. You get the idea. Pandora's approach has been beneficial for more independent artists. It links you to new music purely based on musicality. Spotify is the biggest player. It is the world's largest streaming platform with 207 million monthly active users. And when it updated Spotify Discover, its new algorithm gave listeners the best of both worlds. The company created an algorithm that mimicked the ways in which human musicologists analyze music and combined it with Amazon's collaborative filtering approach. Tech expert Karthik Hasonaga researches the digital economy. He says it might explain Spotify's global success. By combining these two approaches, it's creating a algorithmically curated playlist that has both the social appeal with the ability of a content-based recommendation engine for users. It gives you both a sense of familiarity that, you know, these are songs you can discuss with friends because they are listening to similar stuff. And it plays out in practice because uh, according to Spotify, uh, uh, as many as 8,000 artists get over half of their streams uh, from users listening to these songs on the Discover Weekly playlist. So, in short, Spotify might have found the sweet spot. You can listen to Drake, Justin Timberlake, Coldplay and... Thundercat? All in one place. Apple Music is also making major waves. The company tends to remain mum on strategy, but we do know that it has iTunes history working in its favour. You know, that once upon a time service that made you purchase music and it seems to be working for them. In just a few short years, they've already dethroned Spotify in US subscribers. World domination could be next. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.